Monty's program for hay and pasture begins in the fall with an application of Monty's liquid carbon or nanobind at a rate of 64 ounces per acre after you've taken your last cutting or once livestock have grazed the field down in fall. This treatment can be combined with Monty's 21515 as part of a winterization program to promote crop performance during dormancy and rapid greenup in the spring. In season, Monty's offers products formulated for specific plant needs during each growth stage. Begin with an application of 16 to 24 ounces of Monty's 8168 per acre at spring greenup. Then follow with an application of 16 to 24 ounces of Monty's 8168 per acre approximately four to seven days after each cutting throughout the growing season on hay ground or every 28 to 35 days for pasture land. Remember that Monty's is a true foliar plant food, so for best results you need to wait until the plant has about three to four inches of regrowth so that there is enough plant material to take in the product. In the fall, prior to dormancy, we recommend using Monty's 21515 tank mixed with 64 ounces per acre of Monty's liquid carbon or nanobind as a winterization application. This will help your grasses store needed energy in the roots to help them through the long winter ahead and prepare them for rapid greenup in the spring. Monty's will tank mix with most farm chemicals, allowing you the ability to apply it with your herbicide applications and giving you the freedom and cost savings of tank mix flexibility. Monty's is also safe for livestock, so there's no re-entry period when applying Monty's as a standalone product. If using as a tank mix, follow all labeled directions for each product, including re-entry period. Unlike some fertility products, Monty's unique no-burn formula makes it ideal to apply anytime during the growing season. Anytime your crop is under stress from weather, insects, disease, fungus, or nutrient deficiency, we recommend an additional pass of 16 to 32 ounces per acre of Monty's 8168 to provide the nutrients your plant needs to help it successfully deal with these added stresses. Now that you know how to apply Monty's on grass, hay, and pasture, let's check in with Monty's reps from across the country with a few more ideas on how you can implement the Monty's program on your farm. Here in the southeastern part of Missouri, most farmers only get about one cutting off their fescue fields. They'll either stockpile or graze it the rest of the season. Although this hay has already been cut off this field, there's enough growth back on it to put in some of the Monty's 8168. Folks need to allow for a three to four inch regrowth period before coming back in with the Monty's because we are a true foliar feed. We work on the plant, on the leaves. The plant takes it in through the leaves, it builds root structure, after that can build up the plant mass. The leaves really come out on this grass since he has applied Monty's. This gentleman has actually already applied Monty's about four weeks ago. He had nothing here pretty much but dirt. He left the cows on. He came in and applied the product foliar, 16 to 18 ounces, the 8168. And you can see what he's got. I mean, guys, I mean, I realize this is the thickest in the world, but it was dirt before what it is right now. And also, you know, when he comes in to make his second pass, you know, you can come in with a herbicide and apply that with it also, and also hit it with a shot of the carbon if you haven't already got that out there. Uh, this is one of those situations where you need to try to maximize any growth that you can get and get as much root system built up as possible. So this fall, you'd also want to come in with that 215-15 and build your root structure. That way, when it came out the next spring, you'd get a week to a two-week earlier jump on the season, and you'd have a lot better root structure built there so it can reach a lot more nutrients. You also wouldn't have to worry near as much about your water problems by that point because you'd probably have a strong root system and deeper tap roots from using soil conditioner. Uh, we're here in northwest Tennessee looking at uh, some hay and pasture ground right now. This has uh, been drilled with a fescue mix is really what it is. Um, and it lacks about, oh, about another two and a half to three weeks before we're going to come out and we'll cut it. Um, and really, anytime uh, you're a cattle producer or any type of producer at all, you're trying to cut cost any uh, most, most any way you can. Um, and if you can cut cost through uh, the amount of grain you feed by taking and, and boosting the amount of protein that you're able to get out there, um, that's really the big help for it. Cattle have to have so many uh, therms of energy and, uh, and so, much, uh, so much protein per day in order to maintain their body weight and to be able to exceed that, they have to be able to have so much more. So when you can increase the crude protein 
and you can increase how many therms of energy they're having, you're able to do that, but you're able to do that in a cheaper way than you are with any type of corn. Uh, not only can you uh, manage how far along your grass is coming, and if you need to get a boost on it, you can take and, uh, and get an extra boost, but also uh, you can take and increase your, uh, your crude protein, which is a huge uh, benefit in it itself. And you know, anytime you put down any type of solution, there's usually a burn factor that you have to take in where the tips get burned or whatever else it may be and that plant has to recover from that and, and then it will green up eventually. Uh, the nice part about Monty's is whenever you put it down, it's not gonna pull moisture from the leaves and make it turn yellow. Uh, you won't find that at all. It's actually gonna take and it'll absorb into the plant and you'll see it green up. When you can take and you can mix it, it makes it that much more versatile and that much more effective. We're here in the southern part of Missouri as you can see, this pasture ain't too bad looking. There's not a lot of weeds. However, the drier climate within the last couple weeks has really taken a toll on the cold season fescue. Although this pasture is pretty dry and getting a little brown, an application of Monty's could help bring it back. Most farmers would say it's a little too late, it's already browned off, but with an application of Monty's, you should see an improvement and have your pastures come back a little greener, a little thicker, especially if we get a little more rain later this summer. Monty's is different as compared to your commercial dry fertilizers. With your commercial dry fertilizers, it usually takes rain to activate them and allow the plants to use them. Monty's is different in the respect that you spray it on, your nutrients are there. And although it takes rain to grow, nutrients are in the plant and ready to be used. As long as you keep your Monty's on every 28 to 35 days and you get rain, you should see an improvement in this pasture. We're out in a hay pasture, cow-calf operation pasture in Gravit, Arkansas, which is in the northwest corner of the state. And as you can see by the conditions of this field, it's lacking moisture and nutrients. It's been really dry the month of June. We've had very little rainfall. One thing I want to point out is that the, the weed growth, weeds are growing better than the grass. And you could actually take care of two birds with one stone if you tank mix your herbicide in with your Monty's 8168, you could go over this field one time and kill your weeds and give this pasture some nutrients that it's really needing really bad right now. Guys, we're standing out here in the hay field, and this, this is a prime example of what not to do. Number one, these guys couldn't help it. They cut this hay. It got rained on yesterday afternoon. So yeah, it does have a brownish tint to it, but it's got a lot of weeds in it. They haven't put any herbicide on it, it looks like this year or in the last couple of years. And to get that production off that grass, you number one need to fertilize and use herbicides and lime. All right, by using our products, our soil conditioners and our foliars, we're gonna increase our relative feed value, our TDN, and our protein content, usually about one to 2% on that protein content, about 10 points on your relative feed value. Guys, that means it's affecting your bottom line, the less hay you have to feed to feed those cattle through that winter. This ground right here, we could come in here and within three years, I feel very safe that we could bring this back into a viable operation and a productive field. We've had an exceptional year here in Missouri. A lot of rain and cool temperatures. The grass is not normally this green or this thick. Most cattle producers are going to establish fescue and clover if they can. A good root system on fescue means that the producers should see a little bit longer growth in the spring and a little bit early come on in the fall. Monty's offers a 215-15 or 415-12 foliar application in the fall. This, along with the soil conditioner, liquid carbon, can help the plants produce a great root structure for the next year. For additional information, to answer specific questions about irrigation or particular crop recommendations, or to find a dealer in your area, visit www.montysplantfood.com or call 1-800-978-6342. If you're already using Monty's products, thank you, and we look forward to hearing your success stories. If not, we ask you to try it on a section of your farm this season so that you too can join the growing number of farmers who harvest results with Monty's.